Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ether Raids video. It is day four, I believe. So let's see where we're at. Ugh. Check our defense result. Oof. Our first failure. Is that our first failure? Ah. Oh, this one is. Ooh. An infantry pulse team, so I know when I'm uh not fighting. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I should try doing Yeah, maybe I should just fight on public. Um, the only change I made was I gave Micaiah distant, distant defense instead, because, I mean, I'm not going to be dumb enough to put her in a range of Alm with an Iot shield and pretend she can tank, because I don't think that's going to happen. But to do. I don't know if I should go single, if I should go normal or boosted. Maybe normal is best so I can have a lot of ether for the last days. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go normal. Let's see what I get. A flyer ball team. So, what can I do? Mine well then. Nah, it's just the air that's ridiculously high merged. Hmm. It would be best to get rid of the Camilla turn one. They're all stacking gold, so I might use Sizo for this. Who's going to jump? Is there a rally that I'm not seeing? No? What can I do then? That Loki can jump, so... I want to try and kill the Camilla, so can Sizo do it? Because this looks like a, a Sizo team, I'm not going to use Deirdre in this. So... Nakaya can debuff, because she has ridiculous res. Can't she debuff the Camilla? I can deep up the Camilla. Or. If I can wait for the. The bolt tower to go off. Let's see, what if I come all the way up here? But that's going to take a while. I was like, oh, maybe I can just... Destroy everything here. And then, like, smite size up. But, uh, that's a lot. That's a long way to go. And I can just snipe the Azura. But... Maybe not that. Hmm... And then they're all running goats, so... I was gonna say... What if... There's a shove here, what does that mean? Now I'm kinda worried, so... 
How does the shove work? Would it be... Suppose I want to stand here. I put s someone here. Air will come down. And attack. Is this when Camilla will shove up? And then the air will end up right here. And then the stupid Azura is going to dance. And then she'll move right here. And hit me. I think that's how the shove works. Or it could be with anyone really. Like let's say a flyer moves down. And everyone has flyer formation. So the Loki would like mo move down or something. Or like the S would go. It'd be something like that. Like they just. She just shoves them up instead. Because they don't really shove down. So whoever gets shoved up would get dance from the stupid Azura. So hmm. I see what if I do come this way? I put Sizo right here. Cause I don't see how that air is gonna come. So I'm gonna get the Loki to jump. All the way right here. And then I just stand here with Saizo. And then she'll like sing or whatever. Because that Loki doesn't have high attack. Hmm. She's not going to be in range of the Camilla buff. It's only these two. So, I mean, maybe I can do that. We can try that strategy. For Dane. Hmm, I should really invest in a super tank on late season. I mean, is what I'm doing super tanking? Am I super tanking or is this more of an offensive um, off offensive set? Where I just vantage everything. I'm not sure what this counts as. Cause uh Etherius is just getting getting more annoying <laughs> than it really should be how this work I don't want anyone to jump to me so we have to focus on breaking everything so maybe this air can break this this air can break I guess that that Seth can no, Saizo can break this, Seth can break that. We can just slowly start making our way up there. They're all getting panicked, and... I see. Oh yeah, they're getting... Of course. They're getting whispered too. They're getting the like, dementia or something. Death's caress. Do that. Understood. Do that. Do that. Yes. Do that. Okay, now I gotta be careful right here. She's gonna be jumping right here and here, so this is a danger area, so... I see. Yes. Oh, I can do that. I like to do like that, I guess. What? I can go up there. Your orders. Set right here. For Gotta be careful with these two. Death's caress. Start moving right here. Hmm, if I really want to, I can just kill Azura now. So, what would happen if I kill Azura? How will this plan out? If I kill Azura, how would it go? Who will jump at me? I stand right here, kill Azura. She might go in. She's super debuffed. So I just got his defense thing. So he's gonna have a lot of a lot of um, defense, so I can tank everything. So it'd be. I attack, I attack, I can't attack Azura from here. 
who will go then? Would it be the air jumping in and hitting me here? Or is Loki going to come in, roadblock the air? Because I'm not scared of Loki. She has no attack. I'd love to get yes. rid of the, um, those are out right now. Yes. Now I have them all incredibly debuffed. So, no one's dancing anymore, so we can start moving in. Maybe we can come in and whoever's stuck here in air can smite them. So I'll just keep these three right here on standby. So I guess I just gonna have two. Okay, there goes the Loki. Okay. Can I survive an air attack? Ugh. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Ah, oh, thank goodness. Can I block her in? I just want to be mean. No? Yes. If I repo you, can you go and get the pots or should I smite you? The glimmer of life. Oh, never mind. It's the same distance. So. Huh. What? Oh, I can kill so. Understood. Off you go. Death's caress. Off you go. For Dane. <laughs> doing this and I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I think I'm just doing one a day. <laughs> Win this day. Oh. Yay, Saizo's awesome. Um, that's okay, I guess. Mm. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Did another one come in? No? I think that's gonna be it for today. I only want to do one battle because I don't want to tempt fate. That's it for... Is it day four? I need to make sure. Anyways, that's it for the Ether Raids for today. And I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye.